Hello, the Brew Crew, and I'm, I am Casa Shiva here, uh, Jackie, and welcome back to my uh, half a season update on this Restore Milan to Glory save. Uh, yeah, um, a decent season, I would say. Um, well past <laughs> grade there. Maybe B, yeah, probably B minus, just like I said there. What should we start with? That's the question. To be fair, we started off the January window here really good. Okay, we lost the answer. I guess this was the last match of the. Uh, but uh, we went through there in the cup uh, against Perunja, just 1 0. We won the Super Cup. On penalties, okay, I don't care that much about Super Cup, but still 6-0, only lost against Inter there. We won against Florentina uh, in the Storani, Barca, Bar Brancato and Bari scoring goals there. And the first match in the semi-final, unfortunately, yeah, not that great. We lost against... Roma in the semi-final, but oh well, you can't go always every single season to the final life you like, so I'm still pretty happy with that tournament. As you can see here, did pretty good the first uh, months uh, of the new year. Fortunately, we lost against Lazio, but Lazio and Inter way, I, I guess it's pretty decent still, and winning the matches we should win. Joe! <sighs> In March, I'm not happy about that, but we, uh, I'm pretty happy that I wasn't expecting that. We went through against Manchester United in Champions League. I'm, yeah, I'm not happy with that loss against Brescia. I think that was just Champions League hangover, basically. So we did the extra match there. And it's because he really, I guess it doesn't look that great because we lost against Empoli and yeah, just too many losses. That's basically it. We will see one, two, three, four, five, six losses in the league. And I believe 11 in total. But I'm pretty happy with the Champions League. We went to the quarterfinal. Did Inter win it in the end? I think they... No, they can win it again. Oh my god. Please, <laughs> Manchester City. Probably going to continue this series until we are king of Champions League and such again. Oh man, oh man, we have not won any time here in... Not even been near, not even been in the final. And it's not like I have managed them all the time. When was that? 2040-41. Then I think Andrea Pillow wasn't here. Yeah, then I was... Then was at PSG. Oh yeah, I knock, now I remember I knocked them out. <laughs> It's a feeling bad. Yeah, we did the two close matches there, unfortunately. Yeah, as you can see. We have to be better away, man. I have to find the tactical word so away. I will just say that. And uh, unfortunately, I'm a little bit unhappy as well. We conceded way more on the second part of the season. It ended off with a loss there as well. The good thing is we got one position higher here. So we get, get more money, but... To be fair, we had the same points as last season. The only only difference is, well, we had less uh, draws, but more, <laughs> more, more. I guess we have two more victories, so it's not all terrible. But eleven losses—that's just way too much for being a top team. And to be fair, most of the top teams still lost a lot, like here. Uh, Lazio has lost 5 and Seabury has lost 6, but this season 6, 7, 7, so I feel like if we wouldn't have, how many times, we lost here just 11, if we would just convert those, I mean, it wouldn't have to be everyone, but if we would have just convert like 5 or 4 of these loss, 4 of these draws into victory instead of, yeah, but at least we finish before uh, Zebra. I'm annoyed though. We have t Milan just has 22 titles, so this this might go on forever because Inter now has 30 titles and Juventus has. I know I'm not going to be better than Juventus, but I at least want to be better than Inter. 
39 titles, so yeah, we have like 8 league titles to win before we even even. And in that time, Inter has to win none of them. And I believe in real life they are just tied, or if Inter have like one more title. And then like uh, Zebra is on like 30 titles. So let's show we here. We'll no, we did sell some players, mostly youngsters here. Senatore Marcus Vinicius, we sold him, and Miocchi. Miocchi, uh, we sold as well because uh, Chinese club went in and like 65 million, and I was like, well. We're never going to get that money from anyone else, so I was pretty happy about that in this. I really like how he looked. He might not be superb, but he looks decent still. Uh, Bosnian, the fine from Sernjaneckskinar. Uh, okay, I don't know how to say that, to be fair. Uh, one million there, and uh, some loan. Loan in Bremer, just because we need a right back there. That is my main player I have to find for the summer. We have some players coming in for next season. Uh, Bla, Bladino, Bladino, yeah, I think I talked, did I not, yeah, I think I talked about it, uh, Rossetti or Bla, Bladino, but I went for this because he can play here, and we needed a uh, cap, I guess, to Reese. Reese is still our first choice here. Uh, so he's done it pretty recently, unfortunately 22 million, so it's not too little there. But as you can see, we have uh, sold for a lot, so we're 171 million up front there. And the youth facility will be done, oh man, that's a long time, in December, so I can't improve them. But I want to strive higher up, but at the same time we have a lot of youngsters. Kerubin, I guess I should show you this as well, transfers. Ahmed, we're thinking of selling him because uh, Janone is better and I'm go getting, uh, what is he, Maximov as a backup keeper, uh, he has two and a half star, but I still feel like he's a decent uh, backup keeper and he did it really good at PSG and Tottenham, I had him as a backup keeper as well, and uh, so yeah, we're selling Ash Ahmed. And Kerubin because he wants he wants to win titles. He's annoyed that he hasn't won titles, which is really stupid. Uh, because now he's going to go to Crystal Palace. Now. So we're sixty-five millions, and we have signed some already. And uh, Marco, uh, Pab Pab Pablo, this was one of the very impressive youngsters here. So he is two and a half star, but can get three and a half star. Uh, one of the kid, I don't know if he's going to be like outstanding, but at least he's going to be decent backup. So that's what we're thinking there. And Michel Guarin, I really needed an offensive midfielder. So he's going to be our offensive midfielder for next season. He cost me 59 million. So yeah, but in the end, they at least had. Uh, how much he was worth, which was the annoying thing from the beginning. And then we have done some... Batolia, he's he's so good, so he's have way higher than everyone else. But we, we will get rid of Kerubin there. We get rid of some high wages there. We have re... re I don't know if that's the right word for it, but... What? Is he for the... No. No, he is not. I saw the wrong thing there. So, Jack... With just a K there, uh, we have reloaned him. He's done it pretty decently. I didn't fort, or I, I checked his stat. I was really impressed by it, but assistant manager and all of the other trainers said he was not good enough. And LeBlanc from Liverpool, he done it pretty decently as well because, yeah, it's a right back. Possibly a striker, but it's like if we want to have really, really good players, it's going to cost a lot. So I don't know if we can prove it, especially a striker. We have him, but I'm not sure that he's good enough. And then lastly, I was thinking of showing you 
the season awards. So uh, Batolia are the fans play. I don't know. I don't. It's just a total diva, Kerubin, and he's 29 now. So I guess he's getting old. I really like him, but it's just a total diva and was way too high money. I I guess he's not bad, but he's still like, well, you're, you're not the best player in the team. Uh, and then Venturelli there. Venturelli scored a lot of goal. Uh, goal of the season. I guess we can't see that. Bonatti scored that. I guess we'll see as well how long this will be. The last time it was just 8 minutes. But I guess it's just supposed to be summary. So it doesn't matter. Oh yeah, this I remember. Pretty. <sighs> I think it was some other best goals. To be. Uh, Barry Bolter. That I, he's the second best now. Okay, it's probably not going to be that, but <laughs> the fairy did not even play that much. But he was so cheap, and I saw he was uh, still a um, ball playing defender, so I didn't thought he was that bad. It's really good tackles here, good physicals, and good mentals. I guess marking could have been a little bit better. Kevinio? Kevinio? I don't know really how to say it. And best scorer, Vincentino, just with 16 goal. Storani, I thought he would. He's always neglected. He had the best. Okay, he did not play every matches, but he still played a lot. He's played 24 matches and the best average rating in total. So, <laughs> Eventually, most assist. Janone, most pass complete. As a goalkeeper. Most man of the match as award Storani and Venturelli most yellow card and Batolia just with the one red. And the most exciting thing is that Batolia is now or have have he gone away here? I believe he was that before at least. And there we have him. So he is a legend now, so that's pretty cool. I don't know. I don't think anyone else have really moved up here now. Unfortunately not, which is a little bit sad. But we are, we have transfer revenue on 100%. We are at least before this. No, I'm not made any offer. Before this, we're going to get 50, so 76 million on top of that 65 million. So that's pretty good. Uh, but I want to, like last season, try to go plus minus null. But I'm not sure that we will do this. I, to be fair, I'm really surprised. So Rione, did not, I guess he did not score enough goals. But just being worth now. I guess he was a little bit inconsistent. But and maybe a little bit injury prone. But he's still my second best striker. And for 9 million to find such a good... And unfortunately, he is... A non EU player and take up a post as that. But still, for being worth 9 million and he's driven as well, so I would say that that is the best uh, uh, best player. And Ripamont actually, is, I, guess we, I guess I could go through that as well. No one is babbling about, so I should probably stop soon. Uh, he, scored, he scored 13 goals there as Girona, so I'm thinking of. Bringing up Giuseppe Moriello just as a box to box, probably. <laughs> it's not going to be as good, probably, as Kerubin. Uh, but he's good uh, aerial there. Okay, it's not going to be that good offensively, but still still a good Serie A player. I don't want to give him some game time. Uh, Ripamont, as you can see, surprisingly, he scored more goals than I thought he would score, so nine goals. I think that is his best season at Milan, so I'm probably going to keep an 11 goals for Karubin and almost assist, yeah, Karubin. He might miss him, but at the same time, our right and left backs are doing a lot of assist. I guess, I think Bar, uh, Barry was play we took in here from Dorfman, but I'm pretty sure we're not going to keep him since we have two left back now. And there you can see the average rating. Storani, I'm still surprised that he's... It's weird, because if you can see here... Yeah, there you can see. I'm thinking of maybe Lone got René Luis. He was pretty bad. Uh, Storani is in the team of the season. But Batolia is the fans player of the season. I don't, I don't really understand that, but well... 
So I guess uh, thank you all for watching and I see you in the next season when we go on to the half of the season but we will play Champions League. We're not terrible still. But as you can see a lot was <laughs> they were it was just in this uh, end of the season there where they went up and actually did really good. I understand those graphics they doesn't really make sense but oh well. And so thank you all for watching, have a good tea and a good coffee day and I see you soon. Yeah.